Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Wabasha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So I think during my first year on YouTube, yeah, definitely my first year on YouTube, I did a makeup tutorial video with Aki Swahili voiceover and someone recently commented on that video and last night I was like, huh, why not you do that with a better lighting, better, you know, camera quality. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. And hopefully this one will be better than the other one. I know the other one was, it wasn't that bad. But I'll try to make this one a bit more natural because I was so nervous about butchering Swahili in the other one. So yeah, let's have fun with this one and see how it turns out. So let's head on to the video. Naam, haya basi mabibi na mabwana, karibu au karibu tena kwenye mtandao. Kama wewe ni mgeni hapa, jina langu ni Wabosha na usisahau kubonyeza kitufe cha kusubscribe kabla ya kuondoka. Sasa hapa nilianza kwa kuzichana nywele zangu za nyusi, kisha nikatumia penseli yangu ya Davis katika nambari 0003 ili kuzijaza, nikae ni kama nyusi zangu zimejaa na ziko na ile shape nzuri. Alafu ili kutayarisha ukope nilianza kwa kutumia concealer ili kuinyereza eneo hilo alafu nikaifuatilia na poda ili tu um, rangi nitazo zifuatilia nazo ziweze kutokea vizuri. Rangi ya kwanza niliyoitumia ni mchanganyiko wa rangi ya chungwa na rangi ya hudhurungi na kutumia brush yangu kuisambaa katika hilo eneo lote la ukope e, yani nil, nilikuwa na blend hizo rangi mbili pamoja e, ndio ikuwe transition shade yangu ya kwanza alafu kuendelea rangi ya pili ya hudhurungi niliyoitumia ni rangi ya chini yani a deeper shade <laughs> kuliko hiyo ya kwanza katikati ya ukope kisha nikachukua uwanja yangu na kuiongeza kwenye eneo lote la kope na kuchukua brush yangu tena na kuieneza kwenye kope lote nafanya hivi kwa sababu uh, rangi nitayo yo, nitayo iongezea juu nataka ionekane kabisa kwa hivyo naweka hiyo rangi ya nyeusi kwanza alafu ndio nitafuatilia na rangi zangu za kumeta meta juu ya hiyo rangi nyeusi. So ndio hapa mwishowe unaniona nikichukua rangi ya kijani ya kumeta meta na kuiongezea juu ya hiyo rangi nyeusi kwa kope nusu, alafu nikaifuatilia na rangi ya dhahabu lakini si kwa kope lote hapo tu mwanzoni uh, mwa kope ili ikae tofauti kidogo yani to give it a different look ndio maana nilikuwa naongezea hiyo rangi ya kumeta meta ya um dhahabu hapo hivyo mbele Hapa hivi natumia zile kope za kubandika kutoka kampuni ya NK Lashes. Uh, kope hizi zinaitwa um, Hawi na niza kufanya tu kope zangu zionekane ni kama zimejazika na zimekuwa refu kuliko eh, zangu za kuzaliwa nazo. Alafu bado sijajua jina sanifu la foundation. Kwa hivyo bado nitatumia neno msingi. Basi hapa nimechukua msingi wa ule rafiki wangu mzuri kutoka ngambo anaitwa Riana. Riana kama unatazama video hii na tumaini uko salama, salmini. Lakini sasa ukiangalia hii uh, rangi yangu ya msingi ayonekani ni kama inafanana na ngozi yangu kamili. Na hii ni kwa sababu um, baada ya kwenda huko camping kwenye niliogelea kwa mto nini mto sagana ngozi yangu ilibadilika na ikawa nyeusi kidogo alafu pia baada ya hapo nilienda kumuona mama wa mama e, weekend hii kwa hivyo pia rangi yangu ilizidi kubadilika kwa sababu eh hiyo jua ya machako saipendi mchezo so kwa hivyo ilibidi niongeze msingi iliyo chini yani tena a deeper shade kwenye mzunguko wa uso kwa sababu eh hiyo rangi haikuwa inafanana vizuri nilivyopenda. Kwa hivyo unaona baada ya kuongeza huo msingi ulio eh, chini, yani dipa <laughs> ilifanana kidogo na nikapata kuwa eh, inanipendeza zaidi. Kumalizia niliongezea poda juu ili kuhakikisha upodozi wangu usisonge eh, kabisa. Ikae tu hivyo venye niliipaka siku ikianzia. 
Sasa kwa kuwa mimi nimetoka kule baharini lazima ningeongeza wanja kwani kule nyumbani huwa tunaamini wanja inakukinga kutoka kwa jicho mbaya yani kama mtu anakuangalia vibaya na kutakia mabaya wanja inakukinga kwenye midomo na paka rangi ya waridi kutoka kampuni ya Revlon na juu yake nikaongeza mafuta iliyometa meta ya ule rafiki wangu ule ule wa kwanza mwenye nilimtaja mbeleni anaitwa Riana Haya basi ndio huyo mrembo amejipodoa akapodoleka. Ebu tazawa tu ana vitabasamu wewe. Eh? Amejipodoa kweli kweli. That is it for that video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Had a laugh or two. So don't forget to like, comment, share and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos. Every day now that it's vlogmas <laughs> always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye guys